In other news, tonight, Tourism Minister Lindy Wesesulu has denied any involvement in a proposal for SA Tourism to sponsor English Premier League club Tottenham Hotspur. The Daily Maverick is reporting that the minister was pushing for the nearly one billion rand proposal to go ahead. But the department has denied being briefed on this and says the matter dates back to 2017 and has been dealt with by the SA Tourism Board. It maintains the proposal is non-binding and would need the approval of not just the minister but also National Treasury. For more on this, let's speak to the Tourism Minister spokesperson, uh, Mr. Steve Mutale. Mr. Mutale, very good evening to you. Grateful for your time. So the Minister, uh, by your account, was not involved with this project. Does she support it? Uh, look, uh, contrary to the report that you have just quoted from uh, the Daily Maverick, definitely it is a false report. She was not directly involved and nobody was pushed. And like I've indicated, it, 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 it's the political agenda, because they are even alluding to the looming cabinet reshuffle. The minister was not directly involved. SAT board is an independent entity. And of course, we accept that the minister plays some uh, political oversight over it, but she does not interfere in the board's decisions. Okay, I hear you on that score. Does she support this plan? She as, as you and I are speaking now, the minister has called the board members. She's currently sitting with them, and they are briefing her on the details of this uh, 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 deal. SAT board, I'm told, will have a press conference tomorrow where they will take the nation into confidence and unpack details of this uh, uh, deal. Uh, it's difficult for me to say whether the minister supports this deal or not, as she's currently been briefed. She's so, been given details. And I appreciate speak. that. I appreciate that, sir. But at face value, from what we're reading today, this would be a three-year deal. The cost would come mm -hmm. up somewhere to the tune of 900 million rand. And what would basically happen is that there'd basically be a tourism message on the jerseys of the Tottenham Hotspur players, from what I understand. Having... Just on those basic facts, does it make sense to spend that much money on such a campaign? Look, uh, this is not the minister's initiative. Uh, the story that you alluded to says this deal predates the minister's uh, deployment to tourism. It's a deal starting in 2017. So I can't sitting here, give you uh, an honest opinion of whether this makes sense or not before we get proper details from the board itself, which what, the minister is trying to establish. Was the Daily Maverick report the first time that Minister Sisulu had heard of this project? No, no. Uh, we've heard, uh, uh, honestly speaking, the minister heard about it, but informally. She has not, up to this stage, been formally briefed up until today. What did she hear when she heard informally? Well, she had that there were engagements uh, with uh, a, 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 a British uh, Premier, Premier, Premier uh, League side. And, well, like I indicated to you, uh, the board seats, and it's an independent board. They are making decisions on their own, and they brief the minister. When did she hear? Uh, I can't put uh, 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 the appropriate time, but it's something that we know has pitted we know engagements to be going on. Did she then, when she heard informally, try to get more answers on what exactly this deal would entail? I mean, um, a tourism board, an authority, basically trying to ink a deal yes. with a, a foreign football team for tourism purposes sounds yeah, quite she interesting. Was in the process, yeah, she was in the process of getting all the facts up until... Uh, the story went public, and sadly, it went public with uh, very, very uh, serious factual inaccuracies. What was the extent of those updates or detail that she was receiving before today? Because you say she's now in a meeting where she's trying to get more facts. I'm trying to understand what is outstanding from what she heard previously and what we've all now read today. Yeah, uh, she's trying to establish the facts. What the deal entails is it will it benefit the country? Is it the right deal to 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 to, to strike? Uh, is, is the timing correct? Taking into consideration the various challenges that the country is facing. These are all questions that she's posing to the board. But you say she had already received some level of information. Those are very elementary questions. Why weren't those answered before we all read this report? 
uh, like I'm saying, uh, like I'm saying to you, she was in the process of getting a uh, detailed briefing on this up until today when the story was, was written and it went public. What does in the process of getting briefings mean, Mr. Matale? Does it mean she was speaking to the board? Who was briefing her and what were they telling her? Yeah, listen, the minister gets invited or she calls a board meeting when she needs particular information on how the entities run. So, yeah, like I'm saying to you now, she was in the process of getting proper details. Mm -hmm. And you say that essentially the SAT proposal, I'm looking at your statement, is to conclude a memorandum of understanding with Tottenham Hotspur mm -hmm. Football Club. It is non-binding. That's a fair deal uh, of detail. Such a proposal must still pass muster within the tourism ministry and is subject to the concurrence of National Treasury to conform to government prescripts. Now, some of the work for this project has to be finalized and sent through by the end of March. So it is alarming that at the beginning of February, there hasn't been satisfactory level of detail made available to the minister, who would ultimately have to have a look through and be part of the approval process. Would you agree? Yes, I do agree. But then, like I'm indicating to you now, uh, the minister is currently sitting. She's taking this matter very, very, very seriously, and she's giving it the attention it deserves. But she's sitting tonight because there's been, by your account, an inaccurate Daily Maverick piece. What I'm trying to understand is what work was going on before this piece, because you've told us yourself that there was already ongoing conversation between the department and the board. Not the department, the ministry. The yes. yes, that's exactly what I mean. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, it is unfortunate that the report went public before the minister could be briefed on all the details pertaining to this deal. But I can just assure you there's nothing uh, uh, that is not above board uh, regarding this uh, uh, deal. SAT will answer for itself tomorrow. What can you say? There's, how can you say there's nothing that is not above board when you don't have the full details? Uh, the detail, I mean, the information that you are getting, like this. Steve Mutale, you have muted yourself, sir. That memorandum of understanding has to meet certain criteria, including approval from the treasurer. Mm. Did you know it would cost up to... That is well, what I'm basing my argument on. Okay, cool. So did you know that it would cost close to a billion rand? Was that part of the earlier information communicated? And we did not have any proper details on this matter. I think after tonight's meeting, uh, the minister will get out of that meeting. With okay, the audio is dipping in and out there. I think you have been muting yourself, Mr. Matale, for now. Thank you very much. We'll talk again with you when we have more substantial detail and feedback from Minister Sisulu's meeting with the SA Tourism Board, which you say is happening tonight. For tonight, thank you very much for your time, sir.